Hello my friends, today we're gonna make a huge and melodic future bound drop similar to Mesto in FL Studio. Alright my wonderful people, let's start by creating some nice chords. Now we'll chop them up and create the rhythm of the drop. When we're done with the chords, let's try to compose a catchy melody. Nice. Guys, now that we've composed a melody, we can start on the draw. The first thing we're gonna make is a really powerful and distorted lead. Let's begin with this Silenth 1 layer. In order to fill out the lead, we have to add some more layers. When layering future bounce it's important to add sounds that are different from one another. That way they fill each other out which makes the lead fat. Now guys, we're gonna really push the lead to the limits with some nice mixing effects. It's important to add quite a bit of distortion and compression to get this dirty sound. The first mixing effect we'll add is some distortion with fruity fast dist, then a very short reverb for some bigness, some compression with OTT, an EQ, sound judizer, and a second EQ. This is what the lead sounds like without the mixing. And this is with. Now we're gonna add this pitch automation for the lead, and a reverb automation. I'm also gonna add this fruity phaser, and control the mix with this automation. Then I'm gonna add some volume LFO with a fruity pneumatic using these settings, and control the mix with this automation. The phaser adds this cool effect on the lead. When it's activated it almost sounds like it's going through a tunnel. Now my good men, we will create a fat baseline. But first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. We'll start off with this Silenth 1 layer playing the baseline. Now let's add some more bass layers. Now we're gonna mix the bass. I didn't add a lot of mixing effects here since the bass sounds quite good to start with. I also wanted the main focus in the drop to be the chords so I couldn't make the bass too big. I started off by adding some distortion, then an EQ, some compression with OTT, and lastly a second EQ. This my friends is what the bass sounds like without the mixing. And this is with. Now guys, let's make the chords. We'll start off with a Silenth 1 layer playing these chords. Then we'll add a few more layers. For the mixing I really wanted to push them and make them dirty as f They won't sound clean on their own but will be powerful when played together with the bass. I started off by adding a fruity blood overdrive which adds this crisp distortion. Then I added an EQ, compression with OTT, a second EQ, some distortion and compression with camel crusher, a sound judizer, a third EQ, and lastly a fruity stereo shaper to make the chords wider. This is what the chords sound like without the mixing. And this is with. They sound a bit ugly on their own, but when played with the chords, you can hear why I added the heavy distortion. Guys, we're also gonna add some harmony chords on top. It's just this simple saw layer playing these harmony notes while being controlled by this cutoff automation. Now lastly we're gonna add some nice drums and effects.
Alright guys, that was all of the elements of the drop, but before I show you the result, I would sincerely appreciate it if you went and checked out my sample pack, the link is in the description. Alright boys, here we go. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe, thanks so much for watching, love you guys.